Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the forgotten dimension, and that's the floor to the ceiling. We talk about the four walls all the time. Uh, when we fill out our room forms and send them in, we always focus on the four walls and the problems that those create, but we also focus on the floor to ceiling dimension too, because we have to consider all surface areas in the room because all surface areas are contributing to the problem. We like to say each surface area is 17%. Whether that's you know, completely true or not doesn't make any difference. The point is each surface area creates a certain contribution to the overall problem in the room. So we have to treat those. Floor to ceiling pressure is a big problem. Why is that? Well, because the floor to ceiling dimension is usually the smallest, right? So if it's gonna be small, seven foot, we're gonna have an 80 cycle problem, eight foot, 70, nine, 62. You can see the trend in the heights. It's really kind of ironic that the higher you go, the, the lower the problem. It's kind of interesting in these relationships, okay? Now we've seen peaks, you know, in that floor to ceiling dimension, 13 dB, you can't have that. You know, that's way too much energy. You can't manage it electronically. It's going to ruin the presentation value of everything, and you definitely can't record in it when you have those kind of peaks. And then we have all the harmonics that are associated with it. Look, at, at 70, we've got 80, 160, 240, 320. Okay, at 80, we got, or at 8 foot, we got 70, 140. You can see the whole impact that that kind of pressure level floor to ceiling produces, okay? And these are frequencies that are in everything. So you've got to really consider treating that floor to ceiling dimension, okay? So we want to lower the low mids, the distortion on the floor, the noise floor. We have to be really careful. We have to be really careful because these frequencies form the basis for everything else that happens afterwards. In voice, you know, I'm constantly talking to people that work with voice all the time. And that 80, 90, 100 to 300, 400 cycle range is very, very critical when it comes to managing voice. So the last thing we want is the dimensions of our floor to ceiling producing those kind of frequency problems when we're working with voice, okay? So we have two problems in our room, pressure and reflection. This is all pressure. You know, these frequencies are all fundamental frequencies that are caused by excessive pressure. Then we have the reflections off the floor to the ceiling. And those are the middle and high issues that we have to be careful with. So we have a program with our platforms. Basically, it's the same technology that's in our ACDA series in our carbon panels and we incorporate it into a floor platform. And we can address these particular issues based on your ceiling height. So we can actually tune that platform to these frequencies to help you depending on your ceiling height because everybody has different ceiling height. When you're calculating ceiling height, it's hard surface to hard surface. Disregard drop ceilings. None of that stuff matters to low frequency. Low frequency goes right through a drop ceiling. Those things are really for cosmetic purposes to hide pipes and wires and all of that stuff. So low frequency laughs as it goes through a drop ceiling. Okay. So reflections is something we have to deal with. That can be managed with foam technology. But pressure, these pressure problems that you see here, that has to be managed with diaphragmatic absorption. So it's a completely different thing. Diffusion on the ceiling also can be a benefit in some rooms. You have to be very, very careful using it because you need enough distance for the waveforms and diffusion to fully form. Just like with speakers, you need enough distance sitting farther away from it to hear, you know, to hear everything correctly. So we want to balance our usage when we bring in diffusion because diffusion is expensive, but boy, it's a wonderful technology. Two things happen when people uh, really discover diffusion, and I've heard this for years uh, with talking to people. They experience regret that they didn't find it sooner. Because most people that have been in music and sound in small rooms have been in, doing it for a long time. So they understand the, the good and the bad about it. 
But when they hear diffusion, when mix engineers hear diffusion on the rear wall, when two channel listeners hear it on the front and the rear wall, when theaters hear it on the ceiling and the rear wall, their reaction is always the same. Regret. They wish they'd have found it sooner. Second reaction is, I'll never live without it again. That's how powerful it is. So it's really a wonderful technology. Getting it right is difficult. Most people don't. But when you do, it can be amazing. We have a wall in our new multiple channel research facility here. That's about five feet behind the listening position. I can blindfold people all day and it's all diffusion. I can blind people, blindfold people all day long and they'll guess nine, 10, 12 feet. It's really five. So there's a powerful real world example of how wonderful diffusion can be. So keep this in mind, the forgotten dimension, that floor to ceiling. Now platforms can really manage the pressure and then our foam ceiling ladder can our proprietary foam technology can manage the reflection. So what we've been doing a lot of lately is using the platform on the floor because the platforms run 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. So you don't want to suspend that on the ceiling. So we use the platform on the floor and then we use the foam ceiling ladder to give you the reflection management on the ceiling. And that's about 30 pounds. So that's real easy to hang. So when you treat your four walls the floor and the ceiling with the same rate and level of absorption from the lows, the mids, and the highs, you get a nice balanced presentation value. And then you can add or subtract more from that. But the goal obviously is to get a balanced presentation value. That's what we want to work for here. So don't forget about the forgotten dimension, that floor to ceiling, because it's usually the smallest. And as you can see here, can produce a lot of issues. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.